Hello, this is Afton Fan 77 and I am back with the Stoke City Crew Ed series. The reason why I've been uploading recently is because um, my internet has been very slow. That's why I couldn't upload for like about two weeks. And I've also been away for a week as well. So that's why I haven't been uploading recently. But our first game of the episode is against Newcastle United. And yeah, we got off to a great start through Lukaku. But Graham Dorans here, a Woodgate, you have to dive in on those ones. Otherwise, it probably would have been a goal. And unfortunately for Woodgate, um, he clipped the player. Luckily, we only did. Luckily, he only got a yellow card, though. I thought that could have been a potential red. I've been sent off for far worse tackles than, well, well, worse or better tack, far more fairer tackles than that, I should say. Shamak of all people, t all people takes the penalty and a great save from by Begovic. But speaking of Shamak and Arsenal, then Percy's left. What are your opinions on that? Leave it in the comment section. Dorans gets an equaliser here, but my opinion is basically I. Lost quite a bit of respect for him. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the press, which we don't know about. But uh, season after season, Van Persie, um, he's been, had his injury worries. We all know that. And Arsenal have stuck through him. Um, I feel sorry for Arsene Wenger as well, because he's managed to find great replacements for every good player. And Van Persie was really the last elite player. Like, obviously, he had the great Mikel Arteta. Former Everton player used to be my favourite player before I moved to Arsenal, by the way. Let's go to the episode again, is against Blackburn, but as I was saying before, you've got the Chesneys and Sanya, um, for Marlon as well, I'd say he's probably the best player, or Koscielny, whatever, whatever one, um, great centre-back pairing there. But I feel sorry for Wenger, because, um, um, oh, as I was saying, Van Persie said to make him stay, they had to qualify for the Champions League, they did that and to have um, signings around him, and they signed Lucas Podolski and Oliver Giroud. Um, and Arsenal, they're, very, they're a very rich club, we all know that, but not as rich as the likes of Chelsea and Manchester City. Um, even probably not as rich as Tottenham, because they have some money to spend with AVB. But as I was saying before, um, yeah, I just, I've lost quite a bit of respect for him. Um, so, yeah, oh, sorry, I can't find the words. I lost a bit of respect for him um, because he's just kind of turned his back on Arsenal um, just because he's had one good season there. He's a great player, we all know that. Um, and he wants to win, we all know that. But um, with Manchester City, if he goes there, that's where I really don't want him to go. Uh, I just think it will uh, not ruin his career, but it, it won't be as glamorous as it was at Arsenal. And there's also uh, quite a few strikers at Manchester City that will get limited game time or have to transfer away. Like Edin Dzeko, oh, Cameron Jerome wanted to leave, as you saw there. I cannot believe that. It's bad news. I'll get to that later. But as I was saying, you've got Edin Dzeko, Carlos Tevez, uh, Sergio Aguero, Mario Balotelli, and Tevez and Dzeko are likely to leave. I think Dzeko's even been transfer listed. I'm actually not sure what's happening with Dzeko. But yeah, there's, uh, there's those players which won't, get, which won't get much game time. So I feel kind of sorry for them. I wanted to go to Juventus. That's where I would most likely want him to go. Um, because Juventus, uh, out of Barcelona, Madrid, Manchester City, uh, Man U, I think, was in the hunt as well. But out of all of them, um, I probably want him to go to Juventus because that's the club that I have the most respect for. Um, they don't have the strongest squad, but still managed to win Serie A over Inter and AC Milan and Napoli and all that. So that's probably where I want him to go. Okay, stop, blab stop blab blabbering on about um, RVP. And we'll move on to Cameron Jerome, who said he wanted to leave the club. And that is just, oh, um, I don't think if it was a real-life scenario, he would want to move, considering the amount of game time he's got. But on the FIFA, his, uh, I can, his FIFA persona is quite arrogant. Um, he thinks he's one of the best players in the club. He's obviously a great player. He's been great every time he feels in for us. But um, he wants to leave, which is kind of disappointing. He's got great physical stats, as you all know. And... I honestly don't get why he really wants to leave. Uh, he gets plenty of game time. He's not, obviously not, I think he should know that he's, first, he's not going to be first choice striker over Cameron Jones and uh, Romelu Lukaku. Uh, we, he proved himself once and we gave him the opportunity at first choice striker. But he didn't really excel there. I think he's just better as a reserve. But the positive with him wanting to leave is that more game time for Xavi Villar and Demi Hamidou to make their mark at Stoke City, which they haven't really done yet. They've shown some great promise, or more so Villar than Hamidou, but they haven't really made their mark. And, yeah, I just, it's really disappointing. It, but all in all, it's actually really disappointing to see him leave because he's just been great for us over the last few seasons, and he obviously thinks he deserves more than what he's getting. But, we're, but um, 
We'll let him move on probably at the end. Pet player of the episode is Kenwin Jones, and we are in first place in the season. I'll stop blabbering on. So, yeah, it's very disappointing to see Cameron Jerome wanting to leave. I've been blabbering on so much about other stuff than the gameplay. Yeah, this has been Everton Fans 77 of the Stoke City Queer Series. Leave your comment, in, leave a comment saying what you want to see happen to RVP and what you want to see happen to Cameron Jerome in the Stoke City Queer Red Series. Um, RVP in real life, Cameron Jerome in the Stoke City Queer Red Series. So, yeah, it's been Everton Fans 77 and I am back. See ya.